Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the Banksy, the devolved parliament. Banksy has outdone himself. His devolved parliament painting just set a new sale record for his work at Sotheby's in London. It's here at 8 million five and selling, fair, fair warning now, for 8 million 500,000 pounds. Emma, congratulations. Sold. The auction house expected the painting to fetch up to $3 million. But when the gavel came down and the fees were tacked on, an anonymous buyer paid more than $12 million to take this piece home. Devolved Parliament depicts chimpanzees filling the chairs of Britain's House of Commons. It's one of many ways Banksy has artistically stated his opposition to Brexit, the controversial vote for Britain to leave the European Union. The artist, whose identity remains a mystery, reacted to the sale on Instagram, saying, quote, record price for a Banksy painting set at auction tonight. Shame I didn't still own it. The comment accompanied a quote from art critic Robert Hughes condemning high-priced art purchases for private collections that reads in part, quote, the price of a work of art is now part of its function. Its new job is to sit on the wall and get more expensive. Instead of being the common property of humankind the way a book is, art becomes the particular property of somebody who can afford it. I'm going to start the bidding at £1,100,000. This Sotheby's auction wasn't as eventful as a previous auction when Banksy's Girl with Balloon was up for sale. The artist had been planning this day for some time. <laughs> As soon as the painting sold, it fell through the bottom of the frame, which had been secretly fitted with a shredder. The artist claimed responsibility for the prank, which could potentially increase the value of the painting. Sotheby says it checked the frame of devolved parliament for a shredder before the auction and didn't find one. That just may mean that Banksy is finding new ways to make his mark on future purchases of his work. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.